is Gorilla Tag's new moon boss fight finally here? And if so, what is it? Well, in today's video, I plan to tell you exactly what the new moon boss fight's gonna be like in less than 24 hours. Yes, guys, it is currently Halloween, so hip hip hooray for that. But get ready, because the moon monster, the moon boss fight, will not only be stealing your candy, probably also your ego. Okay, that was right. So if you enjoyed any part of this video whatsoever, then don't leave without hitting this massively sized subscribe button, which is down below, and maybe even join the Discord for some. Now guys, I have a couple of big plans in order to get this boss fight early, and one of them includes literally spawning it early as literally like this. For those of you who do not know, I can quite literally start the moon event just like this. And everybody already knows this because I've been doing this for a while now, and all it does is it just spawns the moon event that you can do by yourself on top of stump. But what you guys don't know is I can quite literally spawn the boss. Now just stick around all the way to the end to see exactly what I mean by the boss fight, but for now, I need to go show you guys exactly what we're going to be getting for cosmetics. So if you guys didn't know, the new update basically is going to be just the same stuff we've already seen. But every single time you get in the lobby, you might have a chance of getting into the boss fight. And the boss fight, guys, is where you're going to have to use these giant black poles up here. If I can get up to it with low gravity here, you're going to have to use those giant black poles up there to actually completely destroy the boss. And once the boss is destroyed, it'll crumble the shards and fly everywhere. And I don't know for sure if it's going to be a permanent thing or if it's just going to be like every single lobby, you can destroy it and it'll come back after a while. So as you guys can see, since the moon event's still going on, you'll see the massively sized eyeball. Now, the boss fight is not just going to be an eyeball looking at you. It's going to send out little eyeball minions. And I'll show you exactly what that looks like in a second. So stick around just a little bit longer. But first, I need to go into the city shop. So moon event, can you please end, sir? Please, please end. All I have to do to cancel the moon update, and this applies to everybody, is just leave your lobby and join a new. Now, as I'm joining this lobby, which hopefully I do join it, I'm just going to head over to city to show you guys exactly what I mean by cosmetics. And yes, the cosmetics are changing in literally less than 24 hours when you're seeing this video. Since for me, it's one day. This video will be coming out probably eight hours after I make this. Since I've edited and in all the chance. Now, these cosmetics are going to be new limited time cosmetics based on the moon boss fight. So we're going to be getting things probably like swords and a bunch of really cool different cosmetics. If I can find the picture that I originally had where I leaked them, I'll put it on screen. But these are the official leaked cosmetics that are going to be coming out in literally less than one day, replacing the trick or treat as well as the tricky threads. I don't even know why it's called that. I, I always forget what it's called. I, I don't know why. Also, both these 10,000 shiny rock packs will be leaving. So pick them up while you can and obviously pick up all the other cosmetics while you can as well. Now, honestly, these ones are uh, okay, but obviously if you want to be K9, you can do that. Uh, I'm pretty sure everyone probably bought the K9 cosmetics again. They will also probably be changing the featured cosmetics. We don't know that for sure yet, but it would be interesting to see new ones. But what I mean by the map won't change at all is that you can see the magician behind us right here, or called the witch, has already had its full form, where he has red bleeding eyes, and all of his fortunes are very creepy. As you can see when I click it, it'll come up with something creepy like it is here, it is here. And what it means by that is the moon event is here and the boss is coming very soon. Now, the boss event is most likely going to take place in forest only, since I haven't really seen the events take place anywhere else. Let me know if you can spawn any of the moon updates in any other map, like if you can spawn the moon event. Uh, I'm pretty sure Force is the only map you can actually spawn it in, but I'll be trying that later in the video. Now, for what you came for, let's see if I can actually spawn the moon boss fight first. But first, I actually want to go into the moon to see if anything's changed. Since I've heard that since I do have this mod, first, go check out what's inside the moon, and then I'm going to actually trigger this live event. Oh, that's kind of cool. It also shows how much FPS I'm running. All right, let's just fly up and see where it gets us. So as you can see, the moon is in its second form, where the crack is expanding, and you can actually see the eyeball inside of it kind of glitters a little bit. Um, but if you look around, the moon is actually at its whole phase as well. You can tell this because there's a crack behind it like this, and also there's little weird patches. Like right here, you can see a seam messing with it. I noticed that there's something called moon hole, moon crack, moon FPX, moon F FPX, I think, and then that adds the light. But if you look slightly inside, you'll actually see the eyeball that moves around and it's basically breathing. Or if you go closer inside, you'll see a crack up here. What, is, what does this do? Is this the boss fight? Maybe it's not. Is that how you look inside? I'm so confused with what, what this lid is. But yeah, the eyeball is quite literally just a tiny little layer of like an eyeball, of course. And then the this crack is just part of the eyeball, which is kind of cool. So since there's nothing inside of the moon, I think it's time we spawn the moon monster. And guys, I have not tried this all before I start recording. I'm not spoiling it for myself. So I, my reaction is original and we're going to see exactly what happens. But before I do anything, make sure you guys are claiming your OG ticket before 100k since we're creeping very close to 100k. And right now we're very close to 75k. So claim your OG ticket so that you can say you subscribe before 100k. I'm going to be clicking this star moon boss fight button in three, two, make sure you like the video and one. What the heck? Oh my gosh, they just flung me off. They just flung me off the ledge. Dude, they're multiplying. Oh my gosh, it's actually eyeballs that are chasing me. What the heck? Dude, you guys see this? What the heck? No, 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 no. This is insane. Look, the eyeball is completely open. It's looking at us. The mini eyeballs are following us. And as you guys can see, if I actually try and avoid them, they'll actually come towards us and look at you more. So if I actually go under here, they'll keep looking at me. But I want to see if I fly up to them what actually happens. So let's just see if I fly up. Are they going to... Hey, what the heck? They're multiplying. Okay, let's see if the eyeball has changed any bits. Holy crap, that is creepy. Okay, so they do follow you. 
And as you can see, they're actually multiplying even more and getting faster. So they're going to be um, targeting most likely a whole lobby of players at once since it looks like there's at least 10 of them and they keep multiplying. So if you're in a lobby when, when this spawns, all I got to say is run, run, run for your life because otherwise you're actually going to be very, very scared. And just right now, you can see the change a couple of things actually has a different effect that goes with the same patterns that eyeballs with the orange and red ashes coming off of the fire. I don't think they're ashes. They're probably sparks. But as you can see, they've changed that. I want to see if they've changed anything else from that as we're going around chased by these eyeballs. They seem like they're following a track though. Like they're going around in a certain pattern. All right. So they haven't added the cauldron yet. Oh yes, they did. I was right. They added the cauldron. So when I triggered that, they actually add the cauldron. So, oh, they're grabbing me. They're grabbing me. Oh my gosh. They're grabbing me. Dude, the eyeballs are grabbing me. If I try to move, they actually sling me across the map. What is going on? Guys, oh my gosh. Dude, what the heck? Oh my gosh, they're getting bigger. It, oh my gosh, what's about to happen? Dude, they're picking me up. The eyeballs are actually picking me up. What is going on? And guys, by the way, guys, there's no new sound, so I don't have the sound on right now. But guys, they're literally picking me up whenever I try to go somewhere. What the heck? They're ascending into the eyeball. Oh my gosh, guys, rate that event down in the comments. But this is actually what's going to be happening today when you're seeing this video on Halloween. 12 p.m. Central Time is when this event is going to occur. So guys, get hyped, get ready. The scary fest is only starting. And also, guys, I'm actually gonna go into a lobby quick to see if anyone notices if I trigger it. See what happens here. But also, if you look right here, look, I can change the amount of gravity inside of the event. So the lower the number, the less gravity there'll be. I'm pretty sure. So if I trigger the live event and then I dude, they're so creepy. That's crazy. You can actually change the gravity as well as this is the actual spawner. It's down here, but gorilla take. What the heck? Look at how close they are to me. Oh my gosh, this is crazy scary, dude. So if you go on top of stump, I'm gonna try and ignore them the best I can, but they are what the heck? You're gonna wanna actually go up to the top of stump where you can actually spawn it and sometimes stop the event i assume or maybe this will actually electrocute oh no all the candles are on it's already triggered i can't do anything about it but i'm assuming once this update comes out there will actually be like some sort of way to uh, all the mini moons so whether it's like make a potion in the cauldron and then throw it at the moons or something but there will be a way to kill all these mini moons but guys this is actually crazy i'd rate this like probably a nine to a ten out of ten this is actually insane so now it's time for me to go into some public lobbies and see if anyone realizes when i trigger it or if they get moved around because guys these move you around without you even knowing so we'll see if it does it to other people or just just me and if it does it to just me people are gonna think i'm modding i'm definitely not guys definitely not oh you can actually stop this live event i didn't know that the other one you can't stop but this one you can oh the gray zone's also in here now because uh of the live event so i'm gonna go into lobby here do you have, do you know anything about this like new boss fight that's supposed to happen Oh my gosh, I'm glitching out. Yeah, there's supposed to be a boss fight. It's actually gonna be insane. It's like, I really wanna see what the boss fight's like, you know what I mean? I really wanna know what the boss fight's like. Holy crap, I'm seeing eyeballs, dude. I'm not joking, there's eyeballs around me. What the heck? There's like these eyeballs. Oh, what the heck, it just went away. Can we spawn the moon event in this lobby? By chance, guys? Is there a way to spawn the moon event? I'm not doing anything. There's a there's a thing here. There's like a you don't see it, dude. I'm I'm seeing things. My gorilla tag is glitched. I'm seeing things. Like I just saw a live event in front of my face, and now I'm seeing an imaginary black pole right there. Okay, I'm gonna go up here. Maybe maybe it's it's up here. Okay, yeah, it is. There's a a summoner thing up here. This is how you summon the live event, right? Come on, guys. You have to tap on it a bunch. Oh my gosh. Maybe this will trigger the boss fight because I've heard the boss fights like a bunch of eyeballs coming to the moon. Have you guys seen that? Oh my gosh. Dude, there's supposed to be a boss fight tomorrow. You guys have to know about this. There's a guy named Nutor posting about it, apparently. Trying to mess all by myself. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Dude, what the heck? There's eyeballs coming out of it. No, I'm not joking. From my perspective, there's actually eyeballs coming out of this. I don't know what's going on. There's actually eyeballs. They're following me. The heck, dude? Dude, do you guys not see these big eyeballs? Are you kidding me? So I'm seeing eyeballs as well as this black pole right here. Guys, look, I'm not joking. I can literally stand on air. But guys, this was an insane experiment where people did not actually see that I got into the moon live event early. Well, more like the boss fight. If you enjoyed any part of this video whatsoever, then let me know down below. And as always, I will see you all later.